I was very conscious of working with the other staff at VCA to select five students that were up for the challenge. Straight off the plane we went to uh, Koch, which was showing an uh, exhibition curated by the Tate in London. Amazing derelict surrounding with this sort of a soft modernist gallery in the middle of it. We thought we were in the wrong place. We visited a number of artists' studios, uh, a number of insane marketplaces and kind of cultural landmarks. I think uh, Old Delhi is an extraordinary experience. We went into the spice market, which was sort of a surreal uh, uh, experience to go into a space that's so old, so ancient, and still functioning as a spice market. It's been interesting seeing the architecture here, just because it's such a mix of cultures. There's such a history of change and it's reflected in the buildings. So there's like um, pillars built upon each other and there's all these different styles, which is really interesting to see now, um, especially in comparison to Delhi, which is a really urbanised. We did go to Agra and we saw the Taj Mahal. That was an amazing day and really fantastic experience for all of us, I think, to be there together. The Taj was pretty amazing. Uh, I think Red Fort I enjoyed more because it was less hyped up. To stand on ground and to be in spaces that, that princes and kings had been on, you know, centuries ago, uh, and then millions and millions of tourists have been through, and it, it, it feels like all that stone has a touch of millions of people. It seems to hold all of that in it. Visiting the artists has been amazing. Like getting into people's homes, just, you know, sitting down and speaking with someone in their living room or in their studio, you'd never get to do that were it not for a structure like the Global Atelier. The highlights of the trip have been meeting up with the artists in their, in their studios and their times in their homes uh, and seeing India through that sort of uh, through that lens as opposed to uh, necessarily as a tourist. It's something else, you know, it's just a different way to, to experience the country and the art scene for that matter. We've got an insight into their practices and the way that they work here and the things they have to contend with. There's a lot of bigger artists that we've seen some exhibitions, you know, some of Gupta and Anish Kapoor's work, but getting to see uh, Gigi Scaria and Mitu Sen, getting to have them talk through their process and on a more personal level and you get a deeper understanding of it. The art we make in Australia is, has kind of been emptied of its politics and I think the artists and all of them have shared it. They all have a very strong political uh, content in their work and I think as a young artist it's really important to be reminded of that. The posters in Australia, Incredible India, it's pretty much spot on. After being here it's sort of hard to rationalise a lot of things that you uh, previously took for granted. Yeah, I mean I think that's, I think that's what I'll take, take away from this. My overall impression so far I feel quite overwhelmed, like it's a sensory kind of explosion, it smells an endless beeping, endless beeping. It's pretty overwhelming to be in a place like India as an Australian who probably has more space and I think the sound is something that um, is really affecting and kind of represents for me like the complexity of the social relationships here and the, um, yeah, the, the busyness of the city. This sort of organised chaos, and I think I'll take that. That's what my work's like a lot of the time anyway. I think somehow that'll be incorporated into my work. The uh, idea of our order is an illusion, um, and that's the biggest thing I think I've got out of Delhi, that sort of mad, madness. I love it. <laughs> it really has been great, just getting out here for a week spending some time away from everything. I kind, of, I kind of, I really just want to get back into my studio now and do some work relating to this. To come here and see artists at work, and obviously I see artists at work at the VCA, but this is around the world and the way that that, is, that varies around the world and that there is this art community throughout the world and that I could be part of that. We've had an amazing opportunity to come away and do this trip and I think, I'm really hoping that there'll be an outcome back in Melbourne. You know, really for um, underscoring that commitment to giving back and, and kind of fostering a conversation in the community and introducing other students to, in, you know, what we encountered here. Yeah, we're going to have a show at the Student Gallery. I think it'd be a really great way of reflecting 
our experience. That's the point of these sort of things is to get diverse people talking to each other. Tajia Bimani!